In a surprising development, details of DJI's latest drone, the DJI NEO, have leaked online. This new model appears to be targeting the sub 250G FPV, first person view, drone market, potentially disrupting the industry with its impressive features and competitive pricing. The DJI NEO boasts several key specifications and features. Weighing in at just 135G, it's DJI's lightest Cine Whoop style drone to date. The base model is priced at $329, with a Fly More combo available for $399. The drone is equipped with a 4K ultra stabilized video camera, possibly featuring a one axis gimbal. One of the standout features is its AI capabilities, including subject tracking and various automated flight modes. The estimated flight time is an impressive 15 minutes, and the drone comes with removable prop guards for added versatility. Users can expect multiple control options, palm takeoff and landing functionality, and a quick shots feature for easy cinematic captures. Compared to competitors like the HGLRC Petrol, which costs $399 without a remote or goggles, the DJI NEO's pricing strategy is notably aggressive. This could make it an attractive option for both beginners and experienced pilots seeking a lightweight, feature-rich FPV drone. Leaked images and video reveal a unique design for the DJI NEO. The drone appears to have a dead cat style configuration, with motors positioned to keep propellers out of view during flight. The body seems to be constructed from the same lightweight, thin plastic material used in DJI's Mavic Mini series. The NEO features removable prop guards that provide full coverage around the propellers, allowing for more agile flight when removed. The propellers themselves look to be bi-blade designs with a wider cord and bullnose tips, estimated to be between 1.6 to 2 inches in size. While not confirmed, the camera on the DJI NEO appears similar to the DJI 03 or 04 systems used in other DJI products. However, the exact specifications and capabilities remain uncertain. One of the biggest questions in the drone community is whether the NEO will use Wi-Fi video transmission or a more robust system like DJI's OcuSync technology. The choice between these two options will significantly impact the drone's range and video reliability. The DJI NEO introduces AI-powered features, marking it as one of DJI's first AI-enabled drones. These capabilities include subject tracking and various automated flight modes. A button on the front of the drone appears to allow users to switch between different modes without using the companion app. LED indicators will likely display the current flight mode. Expected flight modes include orbit mode, follow mode, rocket mode, automatic takeoff, and AI tracking. The DJI NEO is reported to use a 2S, 2-cell, 1,435 mAh battery rated at 10.5 WH. This power source is expected to provide an impressive 15-minute flight time, which would be a significant improvement over competitors like the HGLRC Talon, which typically achieves 6 to 8 minutes of flight time. If these estimates prove accurate, the NEO could set a new standard for flight endurance in the micro-brushless FPV drone market. The motors appear to be in the 1000 series, which is appropriate for a 2S battery setup in this weight class. While the NEO may not be as capable of extreme freestyle maneuvers as some dedicated FPV drones, it should still offer respectable agility, especially with the prop guards removed. The lightweight design and potentially powerful motors could make it suitable for mild freestyle flying. The DJI NEO will be compatible with the DJI Fly app, available for both iOS and Android devices. This integration will likely provide an intuitive user interface for controlling the drone and accessing its various features. The Fly More combo includes a dedicated radio transmitter, which should offer precise control and potentially extended range compared to smartphone-only control. Leaked images of the retail box provide insight into what's included with the DJI NEO. The base package includes the drone, battery, charger, cables, including USB-C, and spare propellers. The Fly More combo adds a radio transmitter, two extra batteries, and prop guards, if not already attached to the drone. The introduction of the DJI NEO could have significant implications for the FPV drone market, particularly in the sub-250G category. By offering a feature-rich, AI-enabled drone at a competitive price point, 
DJI may be aiming to capture a larger share of the beginner and intermediate FPV pilot market. This move follows DJI's strategy of entering different segments of the drone industry, as seen with the release of the DJI Avatar, which targeted the Cine Whoop style FPV market. The Neo appears to be a logical next step, offering a more accessible entry point for pilots interested in FPV flying but deterred by the complexity or cost of traditional setups. The DJI Neo's entry into the sub 250G FPV drone market could potentially reshape the landscape for both hobbyists and professional users. Its lightweight design not only makes it more accessible for beginners but also opens up possibilities for commercial applications in confined spaces or sensitive environments where larger drones might be impractical or prohibited. The integration of AI features in such a compact drone is particularly noteworthy. This could pave the way for more advanced autonomous flight capabilities in smaller drones, potentially revolutionizing fields like inspection, surveillance, and even search and rescue operations. The AI subject tracking, if implemented effectively, could make the NEO an invaluable tool for solo content creators, allowing them to capture dynamic, cinematic shots without the need for a dedicated camera operator. Another aspect worth considering is the potential for customization and aftermarket modifications. While DJI typically maintains a closed ecosystem, the growing demand for personalization in the FPV community might influence their approach with the NEO. The ability to upgrade components or customize flight characteristics could significantly enhance the drone's appeal to more experienced pilots. Despite the wealth of information provided by the leaks, several questions remain. The exact nature of the video transmission system, whether Wi-Fi or a more robust solution like OcuSync, is still unknown. The precise camera specifications and stabilization details are yet to be confirmed. It's also unclear whether the Neo will be compatible with existing DJI goggles or controllers, or if it will offer an acro mode for more experienced pilots. The durability and repairability of the lightweight frame are also points of interest for potential buyers. Lastly, the environmental impact of such a small, efficient drone should not be overlooked. With its lightweight design and potentially longer flight times, the NEO could offer a more sustainable option for aerial photography and videography, reducing the need for multiple batteries and minimizing overall energy consumption compared to larger, more power-hungry drones. The DJI NEO represents an exciting development in the FPV drone market. By combining AI features, impressive flight time, and a competitive price point, DJI seems poised to make a significant impact on the sub 250G category. While some questions remain about its exact capabilities and performance, the NEO could potentially bridge the gap between consumer-friendly camera drones and more specialized FPV setups. As with any leaked information, it's important to approach these details with some skepticism until DJI officially announces the product. However, if the specifications and features prove accurate, the DJI NEO could become a game-changer in the world of lightweight FPV drones offering both novice and experienced pilots a compelling option for capturing dynamic, immersive footage while potentially reshaping the drone industry landscape.